your bike can last a long time with the proper care. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're getting a few easy bike maintenance tips from the folks at Cycle Tours Montreal and Training Mobs. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to adjust your brakes. To be comfortable, you want to be able to pull the brake lever back to about here for the brakes to be fully applied. So on this bike, I'm going to pull it back as far as it'll go and you'll see that it's pretty close to the handlebar, so this is gonna be a major adjustment we'll need. What's probably happened is a combination of brake pad wear, as well as the actual brake cable, the thing that runs inside this black cable enclosure, it's probably just become a little stretched. So what we need to do is tighten up the cable. You're gonna need your multi-tool. These are the popular V-brake style of brakes. We just need to loosen off this little Allen bolt here and basically pull a bit of this cable through. Grab our multi-tool and pull out the appropriately sized uh, Allen key. This one's a five millimeter, so I'm just gonna pop that in there, loosen off the bolt a little bit. It's loose enough, there's no need to take the bolt all the way out. Um, you just wanna loosen it off so that the cable can move freely. And basically, we just wanna pull the cable through a couple of millimeters, and you can see that was a little bit quick. We just wanna pull it in a bit, hold it there, and just tighten up that bolt. And before you tighten it up fully, you just want to check to see that you haven't actually pulled too much cable through because too tight's just as bad as too loose. Um, and to do that, just do your cable test. And as you can see, when it's fully applied, you've pulled the brake lever in about an inch and that's just perfect. So we'll go ahead and tighten this up fully now. And that's nice and snug. So now that we've pulled in our cable, we've tightened up the bolt, we've checked that it's at the right, uh, the right tension, these are V-brakes and we need to make sure that they're centered. And by that I mean, you wanna make sure that the brake pads aren't rubbing on the wheel rim because that's gonna slow you down and it's also gonna you know, create a bit of a weird noise. Sometimes it might squeak. So to adjust these brakes, you're basically gonna use these two screws um, to adjust the centering. Grab a Phillips head screwdriver. So you're going to turn the screw clockwise to bring the brake pad further away from the wheel rim. And you're gonna turn it anti-clockwise to let the brake pad go a little closer to the rim. You're trying to get the same amount of space between the brake pad and the wheel rim on both sides of the wheel. So now we've adjusted our brakes, they're nice and centered. Um, you can check everything is all good by just giving the wheel a little spin. You shouldn't hear any noise, which you can't. And one final test you can do before you take it out for a full ride is just jump on your bike and take it for a nice easy spin around the block. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how to oil your chain. And it's important to oil your chain so that it runs nice and smoothly, nice and quietly, and also so that it lasts as long as it possibly can. If you've got a bike with gears, shift the chain into like a middle cog. Today we're using some dry brown lubricant, and we're actually going to uh, just start gently backpedaling. And while we gently spray the lubricant onto the chain, you wanna be coating the the chain evenly and that you do in fact lubricate the entire chain. Just run it through a few more times. And what we're doing now is we're actually giving the lubricant a chance to actually get into each individual link on the chain. Then we're gonna just take an old, an old rag, any rag will do, cup it underneath the chain and just rotate the cranks and pull the chain through. And we're just wiping off any excess lubricant that was on the chain. A wet chain will attract more dust and grime, and dust and grime is not good for chain health. It will make it wear down a lot more quickly. So you wanna make sure that uh, while you've lubricated the chain well, you might wanna make sure you get rid of any excess. So that should be pretty well done now. And as you can see, we've got a nice clean chain. It's well lubricated, and that should run nice and smoothly next time you're out riding. 